Forza Zero here guys and welcome to my Aubameyang player review. As you can see he's 80 rated and plays for Borussia Dortmund. And I'm going to be posting a Iron Robin and Gunawan player review at the same time as him. So if you'd like to see those be sure to check them out. So I bought Aubameyang for 17k in the Xbox market. He's probably going for a bit cheaper now. In 36 game I scored 27. Um, he's 6 foot 1, high attacking, medium work rates. And high attacking and um, medium defensive work rates. Three star skills, three star weak foot. And let's get into some of his bigger stats. Uh, physical stats, he's got 96 acceleration, 95 sprint speed, 82 reactions, 81 positioning in terms of mental stats. And his only green stat, if you don't put a chemistry style card, is 82 finishing. Now I put him on the sniper chemistry style, which increases dribbling and shot. So he does obviously have some green stats in terms of skills, but if you don't put a chemistry style, he only has one green stat, which is a bit of a letdown if you ask me. So, how well does he play in game? Physically, the 96 acceleration and the 95 spin speed is quite amazing. He's pretty fast on the ball, but I found it to be quite inconsistent. I didn't find him to be consistently fast, and perhaps it's because maybe you should put a fitness card at the beginning of each game or I don't know what it was I just didn't find him to be consistently fast however he is really fast um, I think his strength brings it down a little bit he only has 71 strength uh, but he is six foot tall uh, which is definitely a bonus and 75 jumping for a player with such physical stats he definitely seemed like he had more than 75 jumping he won quite a bit of headers especially with that 81 positioning uh, I thought his heading was quite decent for a striker um, of his, you know, player type. So he's definitely going to win you some headers. He's not the type of player that's just going to win you all the headers. So if you like a player like that, I would definitely recommend Mandzukic. But if you like to play with a lot of pace and decent finishing, I would really highly recommend Aubameyang. Now, let's look at some of his skill stats, which is, you know, besides the amazing physical stats... The reality really comes down to how well he performs in terms of these skill stats. Now, some people might disagree with me on this, but I thought that his finishing was not amazing. I thought it to be quite inconsistent at times. There are times where he'll score goals like that, and there are times where he'll shoot right at the goalie. And I, I don't really know what to say. I, I didn't think that his finishing was just amazing. I thought it was mediocre. Um, for someone you're going to spend 17, 17k on, I mean, I thought it could be better, but there are obviously some times where it was probably me who messed up uh, more than anything, but he is a decent finisher, and for a player of his caliber, I thought that 77 ball control was a little low. He's not going to take any long shots, and his finesse shots are okay. I guess, I mean, definitely your average finesse shot taker. Uh, definitely not a long shot taker like I previously mentioned, but he really is your your finisher. That's really what you're going to be using him for. It's going to be one-two passes with Aubameyang. It's going to be crosses with Aubameyang. You're not really going to dribble with him very much. He gets dispossessed very easily if you try and uh, dribble through players. So, uh... It's a, it's a play style you got to adapt to. you got to adapt to the pace and... Uh, the quick finishing that he has and for some players they really like his play style and I could really see that um, because towards the end I started scoring a lot more with him just because I learned to adapt to his style of play um, 75 short passing of course is a great bonus for Aubameyang he uh, definitely is really good at those 1-2 passing and I could see that his inform is probably really good if you want to play him as a right mid he's probably great as a right mid and overall, I thought that for 17k, what could possibly go wrong? He's going to go down in price, of course. And to put him on your bench, to try him out for a few games, to play him in a one-man or two-man striker formation, he's really just worth buying to try out because you might just really like him. So uh, hopefully, uh, you can watch my next video and leave a like on this video if you liked it. Um, I've been getting a lot more subscribers lately, which is really great. I thank you all. Uh, I love you guys. And uh, like I said, be sure to check out the Gundogan player review and the Iron Robin uh, player review. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, like I said again. So have a nice day.